Welcome back to Cat Cam Legend. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how can you model this ball bearing using the SolidWorks library and especially the toolbox. Okay, so simply you have to just drag any of the component that you want to have inside your assembly. Okay, so you can. This is really very simple for you people because we have a lot of the components in the library okay so any component that you need it you can just drag that component into your interface so let me show let me come here and let me delete it for now see now i have clear interface what you can do you can just click on this icon just hold on for a few seconds you will see it's my design library Next, I will click on the toolbox. So a lot of things pop up with me down here. So these are the different, uh, like you can see, this is the inches, this is the metric. So right now, I'm, I just want to do with the metric one. And I will click on the bearing, because this time I need bearing. And we have further two types of bearing. One is the bar bearing, and one is the roller bearing. This time I need bar bearing. And we have subcategories and bar bearing. This time, uh, I just need the instrument bar bearing. Just click on this hold on and just drag it here into your interface. See? So now, you can just change the specific or use related to your component. See? And this time, you can just change the video accordingly. Want you to increase like this, and this time let me keep it 15.4, and the bore diameter is 1.5, order diameter is 4, thickness is 1.2, and number of balls you can say 8, or either you can just tell it that please fill the entire place. It would look like this. So this is better for now. And display. Uh, when you click on the simplify, you will get a result like this. We have a safety core right now. And when you click on the detail, so you will see the interior. See? And you have to must add the separator. Or you can say the retainer. And show bulbs. It must be full. Just click OK. This time I just need one, so I don't want to break any of these seconds. Let me close it for now. See, this is perfectly defined. And if you want to change the color of any of the part, just click here, come to appearance, and auto race. This time, let me choose this color for now and I will say ok so the part is done let me keep it in perspective view and keep it in isometric perspective view see So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember one thing, if you are new on my channel, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And also like our channel videos and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.